Hi, this is Joachim for statisticsglobe.com and in this video I will show you how to convert the row names of a data frame into a column of this data frame. In the video I'm going to show you several examples and all of these examples are based on the data frame that we can create with lines 2 and 3 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you will see that at the top right of our studio a new data frame object appears. And we can also have a look at this data frame by clicking on the data frame object and then you will see that a new window appears which is showing the structure of our data frame. As you can see our data consists of two columns x1 and x2 and five rows whereby each of these rows has a row name. So you can see the row names of our data frame on the left side and as you can see the row names have a range from 1 to 5. Now let's assume that we want to convert these row names into a real variable of our data frame. Then we can apply the code that you can see in example 1 of this video. And in this code I'm first going to replicate our data by running line 6 of the code. So if you run this line of code you will see that at the top right of our studio a new data frame object appears which is called data1. And this data frame object is consisting of exactly the same values as our original data frame. Now if we want to convert our row names into a column then we can apply the row names function as you can see in line 7 of the code and we can store these row names in a new variable which is called row underline names. And with uh, the arrow operator we can assign these row names to the new variable. So if you run this line of code, you will see that our data is updated by clicking on the new data frame object. And now you can see that our new data frame consists of the same columns as before, x1 and x2, plus a new column which is called row names. And this column is consisting of the row names ranging from 1 to 5. So this is basically how to convert row names into a data frame column based on the basic installation of the R programming language. However, there are also alternatives available in the R programming language and two of these alternatives will be shown in the following examples. So in the second example I want to use the dplyr package to convert row names into a column of a data frame. So if we want to use the dplyr package, we need to install and load the dplyr package first. And this is what we can do with lines 10 and 11 of the code. I have installed the package already, so I'm just going to load it with line 11 of the code. And after running this line of code, we are able to apply the functions of the dplyr package. As first step, I'm again going to replicate my example data in a new data frame object, which is called data2. And then in line 13 of the code, I'm using the row names to column function. So if you run line 13 of the code, you will see that our data frame object data2 is updated. And as you can see, this data frame object is also consisting our original columns x1 and x2 plus the row names column row underline names. What you can also see is that the dplyr package adds this uh, row names column at the first index position of our data frame in contrast to the code that I have shown you in example 1 where the row names column was added at the end of the data frame. So finally I want to show you another example and this example is based on the data table package. And uh, again, we need to install and load the package in case we want to use the functions of the data table package. And uh, I have installed the package already, so I'm just going to load it with the line 17 of the code. Then I'm again going to duplicate our example data to create a new data frame object, which is called data3. And in case we want to use the data table package, we can apply the setDT function, as you can see in line 19 of the code. And if you run this line of code, you will see that our third data frame object is also updated. And again, you can see that our new data frame consists of the same columns as before, x1 and x2, plus a new column which is called rn. In this case, rn stands for row names. And uh, this column is again consisting of the row names 
of our data frame. So in this video you have learned how to convert row names into the column of a data frame in the R programming language. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the R programming code of this video in some more detail. And I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you could check it out there. I will also put all the R programming code that I have shown in this video into the description of this video so you could copy paste it from there. And furthermore, if you have liked this video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments. And make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel in order to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time.